Hello everybody, Chris Olds, Mega Baseball here. I'm at the National Sports Collectors Convention in Cleveland. Hence the weird colored hat for me. I'm here with Francis at the Topps booth. How you doing? And we're ripping 2014 Topps Mini Baseball. This is uh, launching here at the National. It's a Topps.com only product. Or at least initial sale is Topps.com only. One autograph or relic per 24 pack box. 10 cards per pack. And I... What, so what are, what other surprises could be in store here? Uh, we have a really strong checklist. Yeah. We have a really strong checklist of autographs. We have, uh, obviously, we have a Brayu. We have actually a Jeter Relic card this oh, okay. year. okay. Cool. So we have some stuff to look forward Ooh, to. Ooh, box topper. Uh, coupon, coupon, 10% off. I'm not going to show you the code. I'm going to make you buy the, the box to get the code. If you need T-shirts and hats with Topps logos on it, please feel free to use it. Okay. Or buy some Major League... Uh, Wall art, uh, right there. Action. Yep, major league. Those are fun. And let's see here. I'm just gonna start a small pile of down there. First, though, one thing we should mention: a surprise upon Topps' part this year. For every one box of minis you buy, you get your choice of a. I don't know. I guess they're five by sevens. Five by seven, yes. uh, national branded. The future is now inserts. So there's Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, and people might be interested in this guy. Yuenis Suspedis, Xavier, or Xavier, Xander. Xander Bogarts. Hard to read it backwards on my <laughs> screen, even though I should have known who it was. Billy Hamilton, and Yaziel Puig. So you get one of these for every box that you buy here at the Topps booth. I just fumbled the pack. That'll probably be the one with the hit in it. So when we go hitless in this box, we'll see. But uh, those are one per box, uh, bought at the booth, 50 bucks per box, basically. And if I remember correctly, last year, the odds of one of ones in this thing are pretty good. The printing plates were very... One in 96 for printing easy, plate. Yes. And the blacks are one in 77. Are those one of ones or out of five? I'm not... Uh, I, I think, think there were five. out of five, yes. And so mini autographs, one in 142. Mini relics, one in 29. It's a pretty good shot at some rarer stuff. We had we played Pack Wars with some kids last year and pulled a pink Derek Jeter card out of a box. So you know how I dropped that first pack? Ah, it wasn't the relic that. pack because here it is. Yeah, Carlos yeah. Gomez. First hit of the box. That's a nice, a unique, brand new design. It carries the little arc at the bottom as part of the base design, but uh, a different background. I like it. It's cool. And it's a mini it's a mini card, but with a pretty close to full standard size swatch. So that's the start there. Let's see here. There are some inserts I, bait, I saw, I think. Uh, oh, we got a mini Billy Hamilton to go oh, with your 5 by 7 Billy Hamilton. There you go. Clay Buckhalls, a world as Chapman. And, the, you know, logic says that this is probably one of the, since it's a web exclusive, this is probably one of the lesser produced products of the year of as well. And so once they're gone, they're gone. We and uh, any and the, you know, the odds are going to stay the same. So, you know, it's a, it's a bargain chance. It's some uh, fun stuff. I, I, bought, I did like three boxes last year and had two one-on-ones. So... It brings back the memories of collecting in the 80s when you oh, only yeah. had one series. Well, that's that's the other thing is people may not think that these are that big of a deal in terms of it's a base card that's small. That's kind of the gimmick, I guess. Right, but right. but the difference is is pulling that Derek Jeter card is not going to be as easy as you might think because this is two series in one. Right. So you're not going to get a full ser full set out of one box or two boxes. It's going to be a little tougher than that. So, uh-oh, little card. The hair is still big. Coco, Coco Crisp. Best card in the whole set. It is. It's a funny one. Josh Reddick getting in on the action. Celebration shot. I have our first parallel of the box, and this one's a rare one. It's out of 25. One out of 25. Max nice. Scherzer. And believe it or not, some of these little minis in this non-traditionally released set can, can command some serious cash. That Derek Jeter pink we pulled last year was like 200 bucks. I mean, it's it's uh, it's different. I was lucky enough to pull a Bryce Harper black last year for a customer. That's cool. He did come back and buy more. That'll work. I pulled a Mike Trout my first year, the autograph. Oh, I got another pink. Uh oh. <coughs> Twenty-one out of twenty-five. Wei Yin Chen. I botched the name for him. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't going to try to pronounce. It. Here's another name that I'm very good with, Mr. Rau, because I just don't want to mess up his first name. This is the mini version of the Future Is Now, which I think we've already pulled one of, so at least two per box. Let's and see here. Oh, that's cool. Now we have to go with the pink. We have the matching gold. There you go. Numbered out of 63. 
Golds are one and seven, so three. Should close see to a three. Of them. Yeah. Shelby Miller, base. Technically, I think these do get rookie card tags, although that's not a rookie. He's a future star. I should have known better, but it felt like a rookie to me, man. Starling Mark. Starling. Trevor Cahill, Yuenis Suspedis. He's little, but he's still big. Michael Waka. Also a kind of a big deal. And yet another gold of a top player here. We got an Orioles theme going. Out of 63, Manny Machado. Is the base to match. There you go. There you go. Now, like I said, though, this is this is two series in one. So your your odds of getting, you know, whatever one key player you may be chasing aren't as good, which yes. makes it more valuable in theory. It also brings the set collectors back to the hobby. Yep. A lot of sets are only 100 cards, 200 cards. Now you got 600. You can't just shrub one box and get you know get right. what you're looking for. And I think that the hobby needs a little bit more of that, to tell you the truth. Let's see here. Lots of rookie cards, lots of players, lots of, uh, you know, two series in one, you're going to get more lesser names, too. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because that's what helps make stuff valuable. Shelby. Rob Wooden, Vic Black, AJ Ellis, Travis Wood, Justin Maxwell. Mr. Hosmil Pinto, I think. I should know that name, but you know, I'm not listening to a lot of Twins games these days. But uh, there's there's fun stuff in here. And, and Yaziel Puig, of course. There we go. Come on, laptop. There you go. It went to sleep on me, so I couldn't see my screen. Another gold. Hank. Dylan Bundy. Xander Bogarts. Mini. We pulled like all the, the promo guys there. Good box. All the promo guys are good players. I dropped a pack. He's going to go off camera here to find it. Oh, and I fumbled the stack of cards. Ha. Uh -oh. It's all right. We're good. It didn't hit the power button, so we're fine. Let's see here. Pablo. He's not little, even in this one. <laughs> Mike Zunino. Cliff Lee. Brian Wilson. Jared Parker. There you go. Still the big crazy beard on a mini card, Brian Wilson. All right, and the final pack. Least. Here's where we get a printing plate, right? Oh, we got a gold, though. All right. know. Let's see here. Matt Kane, Jason Mott, Jordan Danks out of 63. That's a cool-looking card. I actually don't remember that from the regular size ones. But uh, <laughs> that was a box of Topps Minis, the uh, online exclusive, which makes its debut here at the National Sports Collectors Convention in Cleveland. There are uh, little cards that pack a big amount of fun inside every little wrapper. Uh, any other thoughts or any other things to add? Uh, we will be releasing them on the website for sale on August 8th. Okay. So if you can't attend the show, please come to our website and purchase them on August 8th. All right. Tops.com's location. Find yourself some Ricky Vaughn jumbo cards with Joe Boo. I never did a video, but I bought five sets for myself back at home. And uh, that's it for now at the show. I'm sure I'll be back around at the Tops booth for other goings on. Rapper Redemption's going on. It's not for minis, but if you open three packs, you get uh, any Ginter mini except for two. If you've opened Ginter boxes, you get a Brayu or Tanaka. So not a bad start for the show. So, until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Francis. Just keep ripping.